Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. I've been busy. <laughs> now, if you're a regular to my channel, you may notice something uh, a little bit different. Uh, this telescope here is usually on an EQ mount. Now, I decided that I wanted to build a Dobsonian mount. And uh, the reason being, really, is for this reason. Uh, I'm sat down. I'm sat down nice and comfortable um, and I can look at the night sky nice and comfortable now purely because uh, I've got a bad back basically and it's kind of catching up with me uh, the older I get and uh, standing in awkward positions sometimes that you get in the eyepiece I can only spend you know a certain amount of time and that's affecting my astronomy and that simply will not do. Uh, so I thought it's time to get myself a Dobsonian or make a Dobsonian mount. Uh, now, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a strange colour, I admit, but everything on this mount is recycled, or should I say, being salvaged from going to the tip, okay? That includes the paint, the nuts and bolts, all the wood, uh, everything. I, I, I was going, oh, there's an Andy screws in there. I'll take those out. And I took the screws out of something. And uh, oh, there's, uh, and, and there's also uh, the, the materials. <laughs> this is a complete Frankenstein, this is. Um, so it's made up of, uh, let me just think, we've got a wardrobe in there. We've got two dartboards, uh, a doll's house, a bed. I think that's it. I think that's it. A bed and various fixings uh, and fittings of, of other things. And it, it works like a dream. I, I couldn't be more pleased with the, the outcome of it, actually. Um, like I say, I know it looks a bit garish with this uh, strange colour, but this was just a little bit of blue paint that was in the bottom of an old painting. And I looked at it, gave it a stir, and I thought, that'll do. <laughs> Um, now, you may be thinking, well, isn't it a little bit high if you wanted to use it to be sat down? Well, that's purely because I've lifted it up onto a stool just so you can get a better view of it. Because there's only me. I haven't got a cameraman and, and you know, to, to, to pan the camera up and down. Uh, so this will give you the best views. Um, just, just to show you uh, the action of this, as you can see, it's lovely and smooth. And what's, it, what's important when you do build a Dobsonian mount is that you don't get a sticky move, okay? You don't want it to um, be like, as you move it, it, it's kind of going like that, okay? It's a bit wobbly, because like I say, it's on a stool at the minute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it, it works like a charm. Uh, what I'll do, I'll stand up uh, in a minute and I'll just go around and show you various things of, of, of how I've done it. Okay, uh, apologies uh, for losing the top of my head. Like I say, I am limited to where I can film these things. Um, right, well, my original plan were that I could just take it straight off my EQ, off the tube rings, straight onto this. And then if I wanted to change back, I could just simply do the same. And that was my first uh, plan, really, on how to fit the tube to the telescope. And all I've done is I'll turn it around this way a little think that'll be the best way. No, this way actually. I'll go this way. Um, I've made like a cradle. This is done and it's simply fastened, believe it or not, by a hook mechanism on, I could say bungee cord, but that's that's not true. It's a bobble, okay? It's a hair bobble. A couple of hair bobbles and it's, it's perfect. It does the trick. Okay, and that just clips on uh, two sides like that and as you can see that just lifts up here. It's, it's on a hinge So the entire thing will just lift up and I can just simply swap the uh, the tube around that way like that Very easy and to put it back. It just goes down uh, What I am planning on doing is putting uh, a, a couple of like like so, like a piece of string or something here So it's easier to pull down because uh, that's the only awkward thing I would say at the minute is pulling it down onto those clips um just do that one and as you can see there we're back in action uh it balance wise <laughs> i got really lucky on it um I... now when it comes to uh balancing this thing in fact i were uh, i took the tube out i know for a fact it it, it just wants to go uh this way just to touch it's it's like that and I don't know whether I got lucky on it or, 
know what, but it, it just, it balances uh, lovely. I'll show you in a sec. I just had one little problem, okay? Now, as you can see, it'll hold its weight anywhere, all right? And that's where no counterweights, nothing, all right? But when you get to, up to the zenith or zenith, however you want to pronounce it, we, I start losing a little bit of balance like that. Well, if I just turn this round, what I did is I just made a little braking mechanism just here. And this is just simply a thumb screw that goes in and it presses uh, the, a pad up against it, exactly like a bicycle brake, really. So all I do is I can turn a little bit of tension onto this wheel here. And as you can see now, it still it holds, but I can still do them tiny adjustments okay the really small adjustments that are important okay it's not stiff and it's not sticky uh, and then i just loosen that off a bit and now we're back back to normal now for the base of the telescope uh, as you can see this is where the two dartboards come in handy and all i did with those is i uh, in fact if i if i kneel down like that maybe you can see me oh that's better <laughs> yeah this is um uh, two tarp dart boards and all I've done is I stripped the sizal off it which is the bit that the darts stick in uh, I stripped off with a spade actually it took a bit of brute force but I got there uh, and I just thought well they're perfect for a <laughs> base of a Dobsonian mount and uh, and as you can see it works absolutely fine um, if I turn it around this way uh, what I've done here is I left this shelf loose so I can take that out and get to the, I don't know if you can see that, but there's just like a wing nut there. Now this is eventually gonna get replaced for a locking nut. Ideally you want a locking nut, but I'd, uh, we've been lucky actually, and we've had a few clear nights. And to be honest with you, I've had no trouble whatsoever. So whether I'll put a locking nut on there, I don't know. Um, that's if I can find one, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be fair to buy one. <laughs> I'd have to find one somewhere. It don't make it a green telescope then, does it? Even though it's blue. Uh, but yeah, there's my little uh, maintenance hatch that I can get into there. I'm even thinking of uh, going a little bit all out, putting maybe putting a shelf in here or something like that, or a storage box of some kind. I'm definitely going to fit a red light in here or something, you know, just, just for the hell of it, really. <laughs> hey, I'm sat down again. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to point out this front panel here. Um, I ran out of paint basically, but there was a, uh, a, a little bit of this coloured emulsion, <laughs> so I thought, there we go, paint it in this colour. And so I just painted it that colour, and then what occurred to me is, why not put a logo on it? And so what I did is, well, let me just tell you how this come about first. When constructing this, I mean, it's the first Dobsonian mount I've ever made, um, and I kind of went at it, jumped in with both feet, if you get what I mean. I've always been a bit like this. I like to do things my own way. I like to kind of fathom things out, if you get what I mean, especially when it's like your own personal project. And I didn't really come into many issues, but I did do a schoolboy error on the first cut. And that is uh, where this is cradled in, by the way, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll show you how it just, this also, you don't have to take it off the tube mount. You can just simply lift it out like that and the entire thing will come out attached like that. But the schoolboy error I did was, uh, can the camera see that? You see the, the, these cradle uh, things where, where the wheels fit in, if you like. Uh, what I did is I thought, oh, I'll be clever here and I'll just use one piece of wood and do like a cut, like a, that part of the cut. And when I've cut that off, it's perfect. It'll just fit together. Well, anybody who's made a Dobsonian mount will know that a tight joint here is, <laughs> is not very good at all because you do have to put Teflon pads in here, okay, for it to run smoothly. So you, you need to make that circle like a, a little bit, you know, a probably five mil smaller than the actual cradles, uh, the, the cradle that the telescope fits in. And so <laughs> I had to wheels if you like uh, spare so what i did or what i'm planning on doing is i've uh, covered one of them and <laughs> this is where it all falls down again uh, because i originally wanted to fix this to this plain front here and have my logo on there the small optics logo which i'm still going to do but as you can see now uh, this wheel uh, 
It's just a little bit too big, is it? I don't know. I could use it, I suppose. It just overlaps them, uh, them boards. And I've already done the stencil. There's the, uh, the stencil, so I'll give you an idea of how it would look. We've got the, uh, I imagine that's in the orange and turquoise that I've got on my logo. So that would fit there like that. Just to finish this blank front off, you know, it's, it's surely just cosmetic and I didn't want to really throw this away. I thought I'm either going to make a clock out of it, a chopping board, a big coaster, something, but I'm certainly not going to throw it away. <laughs> that's just me. Now, earlier I said about the uh, the friction and what you use for these wheels and, and the base, okay? And it would be Teflon, okay? Um, now, I've cheated a little bit here. I'm not actually using Teflon. Um, I am planning on getting some, but like I say, I have used this. I've had no trouble whatsoever. It's as smooth as silk. So... So what I'm using is felt pads. Now, them, all they are is them pads that fit on the bottom of chairs. And again, they were just something I found in the shed. And um, by the way, all this material, the reason why I've got all this recycled material is uh, me and my girlfriend uh, cleared out our shed the other week. And uh, it was all planned on going to the tip, like I said. And I'm saying, I need to keep that. I need to keep that. And she's playing elder. No, no. Oh, it's all going to the tip. We're not hoarding more rubbish. She thinks I'm a hoarder. I'm not. I just don't like throwing things away. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, I've just used uh, chair felt pads. And it, like you can see, um, I'm trying to show you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave that in. <laughs> I could edit it, but... You know, these things happen. <laughs> the amount of times I do that. That's the that's another thing I don't like about these sky watchers is the dust cover. They're so like they only just fit on, and every time you move your telescope, you kind of flick it off with your finger. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I've lost my thread now. What was I what was I saying? Oh yeah, felt pads and uh, friction. And as you can see, that was it. I was gonna try and show you. You can see just just with just with my finger of my pad. I'm pad the finger of my pad. pad of it's, all, it's all going wrong today. <laughs> I can still move it up and down. It's lovely and smooth. And I've done exactly the same on the base. Um, there's just a series of pads on the first board. And another little, if you, if you are uh, going to build one of these, um, a great uh, uh, thing you put on your bottom of your second board, if you like, as the sandwiches go, is an old vinyl record okay and that's exactly what i've done on mine um it, i don't know where i heard that from and i was like that's a good idea and uh, and i happen to have believe it or not what's under there is appetite for destruction the original the band one guns and roses <laughs> i mean yeah, that's dedication <laughs> dedication to the hobby <laughs> no but it was ruined i as i moved out the uh, the, the record actually uh, fell out of the sleeve and got scratched up and it was just, you know, it was no good. You could never, I haven't got a record player anyway, it was got one of those. Um, but yeah, you put a record on or, or a, a vinyl record and it gives that nice uh, non-sticky friction. As, it, as a, You know, that when it, when it sticks like that, you just don't want that. As you can imagine, that's no good. Another good thing to use is... Um, Work worktop the you know the worktop surface the laminate uh, that's on uh, workbenches perfect for uh, that uh, non sticky friction uh, thing that you need and also on the wheels that's what you do on the wheels on this one as you can see what I've done is I've got that iron on you know the stuff that you eat up and you iron it on edging strip just to put all the way around the wheels and it it like I say it works like a dream. Um, so I'm, I'm more than happy with the outcome and it's certainly more comfortable. Wow. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sat like this um, and, and, and it's there and I've got all the sky at hand, you know, it, it, I love it. Um, and you may be thinking, well, uh, what have I done with uh, an EQ mount? Well, it's no longer an EQ mount. As you can see, what I've done is I've turned it into an Altaz mount. It's not a permanent thing, and you can do this uh, with uh, not all equatorial mounts, but you, I've noticed you could do it with, the, with this one. And all you do to do this is uh, you zero your um, latitude, okay? So you want to point it straight up, if you get what I mean. And now all I've done is I've mounted my binoculars because... 
I love binocular astronomy and the biggest problem with binocular astronomy is of course keeping it stable and uh, this is I'm, I'm going to find that I'm going to be using this mount more more than I am the EQ now especially with my bike so instead of just leaving uh, you know this unoccupied doing nothing I thought I'd put good use to it the other thing I've done is I made this bracket uh well should i say no i i didn't make this bracket i made this part i cut a block of wood <laughs> that's not really making is it and uh and redesigned an old ipad or tablet uh adapter you know like the, the, the clips in and it's from a, an old shit tripod i bought years ago and uh i've never used it because it was so flimsy and i thought there's no way i'm going to trust this but i've re i've strengthened strengthened it all up and uh as you, as you can see you know it, it, it's as solid as it's going to be and uh it's, it's just perfect for binoculars and again this is a, an eighth now where i can either have it up and to stand up or i can have it so it's seated and as you can see there's my left and right okay and there's uh, my up and down all right so it's, it's just working like an altaz mount really um yeah so if you want to do that you know you, you you can you can you can cobble these things if you're not happy with your eq mount now obviously you, you can't I, you could fit a telescope on here you could put your reflector back on here if you if you made a bracket for it you know or the right type of bracket and in actual fact this is just uh uh, held on by exactly like like all binocular brackets so is that standard thread and uh, I have a refractor uh, I don't know where it is at the minute the little refractor you see that's on here and uh, that fits on here perfectly as well so if I just want an, 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 and of course with no counterweight on it, uh, it it's very light and mobile so yeah i don't know whether it's old age that's making me do all this or what but uh, it's certainly a lot more comfortable out there you know sat down looking at the skies well i hope you've enjoyed this uh, little look into how i uh, go about making this and maybe have a go yourself you know it's uh, it's not as difficult as you think and if you're pretty under you know if you're pretty confident with the diy skills then uh, give it a go um, especially if you've got a a, a rickety old mount um make one of these the rock solid well that's about it for this one thank you so much for watching in the meantime take good care of yourselves go make yourself a dobsodium mount see you on the next one bye for now